Hey everyone. So I was asked to make a video of the various things aboard Norna and to give an explanation of the various things and also what I would call it. So that's uh, kind of a fun idea. I kind of like that idea. Uh, thank you to Ava and Elle. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you again next week. This is called the galley, or the place where breakfast, lunch, and dinner is born. It's also a good place for galley slaves. The galley sink, the place where dishes sit, the place where chores happen, the dish locker, the place that's a pain in the butt to get the dishes out of, Norna's favorite leaky spot, the place where dry dishes go to get dripped on. This is called the head, or the hiding place in the morning. Or the water closet, cause yeah, it is the size of a closet. Or the place to hit your elbows. This is a composting toilet, the best toilet on planet Earth. Other toilets on a boat can be called pain in the or pieces of or leaky floors, or the glorified bucket, the shower sump, or the gray water tank, a place where you're not going to be drinking that water. We call certain areas blue jobs and pink jobs. This is called a blue job when you have to clean this area out. The semi-dry, semi-damp towel locker. The towel locker that's usually empty of towels. Those towels end up being rags for the broken engine. Oh wait, what was I talking about again? The toilet paper locker. Or the place that's always empty. Empty Arms Hotel, you need toilet paper. I'm sorry, the number you're trying to reach is busy. Please try again later. The head door. The door that hides smells. The only door that allows privacy aboard. The dangerous object offshore. The item that must stay closed when in rolling seas. The shower curtain. This is the cabin sole or the place where sandy feet go. Or rugs. These are bunks. Or places to take a nap when things need to be done aboard. This whole room is called the main salon or the place where drunken games happen. Salon table or the place where drunken fun and games happen. Did I already say that? The place where heated arguments begin. The object that should have been gimbaled offshore. The place where charts go when offshore. The place where feet go when lounging around. The place where all the junk lands. The place where our recording studio is. The treasure chest. Or the junk drawer numero dos. Or the place that we should be hiding treasure, but we don't really have that much treasure to hide. Companionway. AKA the place where everyone gets in each other's way. Nav station or the place where you should have paid attention in school, or the table where all the junk lands, or the area where all the electronics are and Norna still leaks, the foc'sle, otherwise known as the dungeon, or the man cave, or the place where things are stored, or maybe where you might find a magical troll, the chain locker, or the place where your chain gets stuck and you have to come down below and unstick it because then you can't pull your anchor up or down. Or anything. The deck prisms, or the things that remind us that we need to put lights in the forecastle. The porthole, or the place where mosquitoes like to fly in, unless you have screens in the porthole, well that's a good thing. Or the windows to Norna's soul, oh wait, the cabin soul, never mind. The butterfly hatch, or the thing that allows us not to have to turn our lights on right away. Or the hatch that allows us to hang our bananas. Or the hatch that we can watch summertime storms in. The mast step, or the hat hanger, or the creaky noisy thing when we're offshore. Keel bolts, or the sister keel, or the brother keel, they're all related somehow. The piece of wood and the bolts that bolt on the heavy piece of lead at the bottom of the boat. The part of the boat that makes it a cork. The wood burner, or the thing that keeps us warm during the winter. Hooray! Or the thing that backwinds and gets a bunch of smoke in the cabin, and we are very thankful that we have smoke detectors. The damper for the wood burner. The finicky little piece of metal that, if you do not do it right, will allow you to either smother the fire or allow too much smoke to enter the cabin. It is the master, and you are the grasshopper. The cabin top, or the place where tall people hit their heads. Cabin sides, or the place where water likes to slam onto when you're offshore. Handrails, also known as oh shit handles. The reins you hang onto when riding a bull. Something to make sure you won't fly across the companionway when the seas are rough. Or a place to hang towels when it's raining outside. The Carlin, no relation to George Carlin. The deck, which is the underside of the deck. 
but it's still a deck, right? Because, I mean, it's a deck, but it, you know, never mind. The rain tarp. It actually is supposed to go outside, but yeah. Rivets. This is something for a lap strike wood boat. The pieces of metal that hold the planking together. Norna's nipples. Ribs. So does that mean if we're on the inside of Norna and her ribs, does that mean we're the heart of her? This is the electronics panel, which shows how dead our batteries are. <laughs> the single sideband antenna tuner, or the thing that lets us communicate with the world, aka the microwave, or Sparky, or Black Magic, the fruit and veggie net, a place for fruit and veggies to get smashed up against the wall. I guess we need to mount this in a better place. The tomato masher. Just put all the ingredients you want and you can make gazpacho. The vegetable graveyard. The ceiling, which that makes sense. The place where the bilge isn't going to get to your cans. The dark, scary place on a boat. The place where you'll find mold. The place where monsters hide. Oh yeah, Martha, you need this can? Let me go ahead and reach up under here. Ah! The through hole, or the place in the bottom of your boat where water can get in. Or the seacock. Yes, I just said seacock. Or the place where corrosion happens. This is actually a new through hole. What the heck is going on here? The place where duct tape really doesn't fix it. I tried. They say duct tape fixes everything. They lied. Hey, I rhymed. The bilge. The place that when they say you're becoming a bilge rat, they aren't too far from the truth. The place where water goes and we forget about it. The most important part of the boat and it becomes the white elephant. Just like the sock gets eaten by the dryer is equivalent to the bilge. I was wondering where my hairbrush was. Fans or really poorly working air conditioning. Or the things that break within a month out of warranty. The things that become suddenly very noisy for no reason whatsoever. Target practice for Norna's leaks. The mosquito keeper awares. The objects of which you cannot forget to clean. Backing plate, or the thing that you know something really heavy duty is up top. Barometer, or the place to hang decorations. The thing that supposedly tells you when storms are coming. Binoculars, or your eyeballs for seeing far away. Or the ship locator when out at sea. Or the things that make you realize that you need a steadier hand or calmer seas. The clock, or the object that lets you know when Greenwich Mean Time is happening. The object that will make you late. Man's understanding of our movement through space. Am I getting a little too deep here? Aft cabin, or the place that we never really finished. The giant bed, or the most comfortable place on the boat when offshore, or the most noisy, uncomfortable place to be when the engine's running. Hatch, as in down the hatch, literally. The place where yoga happens. The morning tree climbing exercise. The place that keeps you fit. The impending entrance of doom when you don't feel good. The aft cabin deck beams, or the things to bonk your head against. Speed bumps. Whack-a-mole. The things that have been called many expletives. Roadblocks. Clothes locker. Well, there isn't really any locker. Like I said, this area hasn't been finished. The place where clothes hide. Well, they're not really hiding. Those horizontal beams are called the shelf, which is kind of a good idea. Maybe we should put a shelf there. Wind generator wires or the object that should probably have a box around it. We're accumulating electricity. The engine box, or the noisy area, stinky place. The engine room, or the engine. The object of which stops you from moving on to other tasks aboard. The loud, noisy machine. The iron jib. The terrorist. The Perkins engine, when working right, is named Perky. The environmental nightmare, no matter how hard you try. The anchor. Engine panel. Or the facade, because our gauges actually don't really work. Another item to the to-do list. The constant reminder of what needs to be done. 